Angelman syndrome is a rare genetic condition which affects approximately 1 in 12 to 20,000 people, although many cases go undiagnosed. Angelman syndrome is caused by deficient gene expression of E3 ubiquitin protein ligase, also known as UBE3A, and was first described in 1965 by Dr. Harry Angelman. Characteristic findings of Angelman syndrome include severe developmental delay and movement or balance disorder, usually in the form of gait ataxia and or tremulous movement of limbs. Now let's talk about some genetics to better understand Angelman syndrome. Typically a person has 46 chromosomes that make up each cell, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. The 23 from mom and 23 from dad are paired for a total of 46 chromosomes in each cell. As an example here, you have two pairs of chromosome 15. Now the sex cells, which are the male sperm and female egg, are produced through a process called meiosis. Let us follow the maternal sex cells. So looking at the mum's egg and how they are produced. The 46 chromosomes will first duplicate or replicate initially. Through meiosis, they then divide to form two cells with 23 chromosomes. The 23 chromosomes are still duplicated. Then meiosis two occurs where the chromosomes separate and then you form the sex cells, each with 23 chromosomes, but single chromosomes and they are no longer duplicated. The male sex cell, the sperm, will have 23 chromosomes, which then fertilizes the egg and a baby is born with 46 chromosomes, 23 from mom and 23 from dad. Angelman syndrome is caused by deficient gene expression of E3 ubiquitin protein ligase, also known as UBE3A. This gene is located on chromosome 15. Normally, the UBE3A gene inherited maternally is active, and the copy of the gene inherited from the father is silenced. This is a phenomenon known as imprinting. In Angelman syndrome, the maternal copy of the gene is malfunctioning, resulting in deficient gene expression of E3 ubiquitin protein ligase. The E3 ubiquitin protein ligase is a critical enzyme involved in proteasome-mediated protein degradation, which is essentially an important function for cells to degrade proteins. Now, most cases of Angelman syndrome are caused by a deletion, meaning they are missing a part of the DNA in the region of chromosome 15, on the maternal chromosome 15. Other causes include a mutation in this area, uniparental disomy, where you have two copies of chromosome 15 from the father, so nothing from the mom, and imprinting defect which occurs when the maternal chromosome 15 is blank. Most cases of Angelman syndrome are not inherited, especially those caused by mutations or uniparental disomy. Instead, they are caused by random events during the formation of the sex cells or in early embryonic development. Angelman syndrome affects both males and females equally. And so, as a result, of the mutation or deletion in chromosome 15, you get deficient gene expression of the UBE3A gene, an important enzyme involved in proteasome-mediated protein degradation. And because of that, you get Angelman syndrome and the clinical features of Angelman syndrome. Now, Angelman syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder. There is a broad spectrum of symptoms associated with Angelman syndrome, and it is often misdiagnosed as cerebral palsy or autism. Typical characteristics are usually not evident at birth. Children with the syndrome may have feeding difficulties as infants, and developmental delay is often noticeable around 6 to 12 months of age. Milestones in motor development such as walking are often delayed. A common early finding is ataxia, which is difficulty with balance, jerking, and tremulous movements of the limbs. 
children often have hand flapping movements. Communication difficulties are common and most children are not able to speak more than a few words. Children also have a behavioral pattern, which includes a happy and excitable demeanor, often laughing and smiling. Microencephaly and seizures are also common. Some other features include facial features, which include a prominent chin, deep set eyes, abnormally white mouth called macrostomia with a protruding tongue, widely spaced teeth, and an abnormally flat part of the skull, brachycephaly. Adults may have mandibular progenthism, a prominent lower jaw. People with Angelman syndrome have a fascination with water, a love for music, and attraction to shiny objects. They can also be sensitive to heat, and most have disruptive sleep cycles. There are associated complications of Angelman syndrome, and this includes constipation or gastroesophageal reflux disorder, strabismus, hypopigmentation causing photophobia, nystagmus and decreased visual acuity, sleep disturbances as I've mentioned, progressive scoliosis, and contractures and obesity later in life. Diagnosis and investigation. As the characteristic findings of Angelman syndrome are often not apparent at birth, diagnosis is usually made between one and four years of age. Majority of cases can be confirmed through highly specialized blood tests, such as DNA methylation and fluorescent in situ hybridization, also known as FISH, or microarray chromosome analysis, is able to detect the characteristic deletion of chromosome 15 that is seen in majority of Angelman syndrome cases. Mutation analysis of UBE3A can be helpful for diagnosis in patients who have negative DNA methylation studies. Genetic counseling is recommended for all families affected by Angelman syndrome. Treatment of Angelman syndrome then focuses on symptomatic management and supportive care and involves a multidisciplinary team. There is currently no genetic therapy or curative medication available. Early intervention is essential and most children benefit greatly from physical, speech and occupational therapy as well as behavioral modification therapy. Some specific treatment and management include anti-seizure medications, behavioral therapy and bedtime routines to manage the associated sleep disorders, modified breastfeeding methods and devices which can help infants with breastfeeding difficulties, gastroesophageal reflux management can be with positioning or with medication, laxatives if constipation, ankle braces and mobility devices including physiotherapy to help with uh, scoliosis, use of special communication devices to help communicate and learn, surgical correction of strabismus. Lifespan for people with Angelman syndrome is usually normal compared to that of the general population and young adults generally have good physical health. However, some issues such as seizures and abnormal movements may continue into adulthood and living independently is not possible for adults who have these symptoms. So in summary, today we talked about Angelman syndrome, a genetic disorder that is caused by deficient gene expression of E3 ubiquitin protein ligase, also known as UBE3A on chromosome 15. We discussed the genetics, clinical features of the syndrome, as well as the process of diagnosis, management, and prognosis. Thank you for watching.